Hey everybody, this is <coughs> GameFreak10124 here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Ruby. Of course, I didn't do anything off screen, I didn't grind my Pokemon or anything, because there was no need to, so let's just dive right into the episode. Immediately with a fight. Yes, I do. I have many moves like that. It's an Atu. Uh, the rain on the, it's raining on this route. Yay. I wish I had stuff in particular interest off the top of my head to talk about. I can't really think of too much. Other than Volvo 19, at, at the time of me recording this, just uploaded another, uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire update video. Which basically, like, uh, he covered several screenshots of the, uh, of OR and AS that are were on Amazon.com for Japanese pre-order of the games. The beach looks freaking cool. Saw the Wingles running b or behind the trainer. I wonder if that's actually supposed to be the Wingles are actually supposed to be up in the air, or you can get you'll be able to get beach encounters like Wingles, Wingle encounters on the beach. I, I thought they might have Wingle, Wingle encounters on the beach. I hope they do. That'd be awesome. And of course the beach I'm referring to is the beach where you fight all those trainers where the rude sailor was that burped at me uh, on the route before, the little mini thing before Lakeport City that you go to, you're intended to go to after delivering the letters, or, uh, uh, no, no, that you do go to after delivering the letters to see them. What I was thinking of was you're intended to have to get flashed and be able to get to see them, but you don't have to. But yeah, looks pretty cool. Then kind of, I didn't even read the little boy's text, meaning pay attention to it to myself. Of course, I didn't read it out loud. That much is obvious. Fan attack. Guy ones has been uploading various videos of various let's plays of his. He's uploading like at least one video of all the LPs he's are either fully recorded or got some recorded of. He's uploaded two of Mario Party 3, which was Gate Guy. Which is interesting, I guess. No, I, I take that back, it was interesting. I only got done in two videos. Like I've said in the Chip episode, the, it's my favorite Mario Party in the series. I never had one or two, but I had three growing up, and yeah, I love it. Hmm. Here's to see what how Darwin's the rest of his XD goes. Ah crap, I forgot about this thing being annoying. Take my mind off Darbones and other stuff for a second. I'll be so happy if you don't miss pitch. Pitch if you hit please hit hit pitch. I will love you forever. Yay, way to hit after you use double team twice. Your cheap catches won't work, you stupid little D bag. <laughs> Love that line. Yes, you should. Also, climb up yourself before I beat you over the head with a baseball bat. I must not reference this, uh, out somewhat, at least somewhat outdated internet meme. Peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. Whoop, I forgot. Speed up switching my Pokemon around. Oh, yeah, actually, remember to switch my Pokemon around from time to time, because that's how I usually do Pokemon games, like I've mentioned in the past. Oh, come on, you don't have to have that just to be beautiful. Don't you give me that. Uh, I just realized one thing I can talk about. I haven't mentioned anything about it prior to now, but... I, this past season of America's Got Talent, I've been watching it uh, ever since it, the, the season began uh, several, a couple, three months ago prior to me recording this. And uh, another thing I'll mention about that show is I, I think I've watched, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've watched every single season since the very first season when Regis Philbin hosted it. And then the second and third seasons, I think maybe even the fourth season, Jerry Springer hosted it. And ever since 
Jerry Springer resigned or stopped or whatever happened there. Nick Cannon has hosted it ever since, and in my opinion, Nick Cannon is the best host for it. But anyway, um, the I the uh, just the other day prior to me or, or the at the time of me recording this, uh, the winner America's Got Talent was announced, and yeah, like I, I was surprised that little boy, um, Quintavious. Uh, Johnson, I was so surprised. Like, he didn't win, which I'm not exactly surprised about because of him being young. But at the same time, I'm surprised crapless that he got 5th place. I was like, what the heck? How did he get 5th place? That little boy is like the best freaking singer he's ever had. He's the Jackie Ivanka of this season. How the heck did he not get better than 5th? That's freaking crap. I figured Miguel would get, uh would probably get beat out uh, first. He would be the first one to be eliminated on the finale night. Uh, his last performance, uh, much like Howard Stern did say, is it was his best performance, and I gotta agree with that. He did sing really good. He's definitely got a career ahead of him, but... Uh, yeah. But yeah. <clears throat> I was so surprised when that little boy didn't win. Or not when I I, I I wasn't surprised about that. Like I already said, I screwed up. I said the wrong thing. I meant I was so surprised he got fifth place. I did not expect him to get beat out so badly. Oh, you stupid effing melodic! I hate you. And now you're gonna be annoying and spam reco uh, encounter recover. Spoiler alert! Oh well, it doesn't matter too much. Oh, don't you even freaking dare! Okay, thank you. Stupid damn Milotic. I hate this thing. It's bulky. It gets water pulse. It's powered by the rain. It has a tendency to confuse you. And it has recover. Stupid thing. Die. What was your first clue? <laughs> Thanks a lot for that, Captain Obvious. But yeah, anyway, back to America's Got Talent, and all that that little stupid random annoyance is over. Um, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, that Emily West, she's good. I'm not surprised she didn't win, but at the same time, she deserved to make it as far as she did. I'm very glad she was on the show. She was a good woman. She has an old-fashioned style about her, but because of that, I personally feel she could bring old-style back uh, looks from the... Uh, uh, 20th century back in style. She's still a gorgeous woman, but like she definitely does rock some more retro styles from the 1900s. Uh, as far as ha hairstyles go, when I saw that dress on the final final performance night, I was like, "Holy crap! That was an actual dress." I assumed it was just uh, she had a smaller dress on and she was standing up on a chair to make it give the appearance of a big dress when it was actually a rug. But no, it was a huge dress. But anyway, yeah, I'm glad she got her confidence back. She definitely deserved to make it as far as she did, and she definitely is going to have a career now. But anyway, the main thing I want to talk about as far as that goes is Matt Franco, the magician. He won the entire thing. I was, I was very pleased with that. I was rooting for him so much to win the whole competition because he's young, he's very talented, a very good magician. He's got good showmanship, good stage presence. He can hold his own. He and he manages, like he manages to uh, uh, throw in a little bit of comedy here and there with his magic acts as well. He engages the audience, regardless of whether he does a close-up act with like a few people or does something to include the entire audience. And he's for. Er, and I was ho hoping he would win because he would be the first Magic Act to ever win America's Got Talent, and he did. I was so satisfied with that. Unlike that one comedian who was that hardly funny all last season, who nearly won the thing. Thankfully, Kenichi Avino beat him out. I was so surprised that well, last season America's Got Talent, season 8, the freaking Tunners got beat out so badly because they were very good. They were probably the best singing act in the entire season that year. Anyway, I was so glad that Matt Franco won because I was so pulling for him. Like I said, he's young, talented, and is the first magic act to ever win. 
and like it, he was like so in shock or whatever he like d didn't get like overly emotional or even incredibly emotional right away like acts usually do when they uh when America's got talent. Akarami is very uh, definitely very talented, but like the judges have said in the past, watching stuff on TV like that on TV as opposed to uh, watching it live, it does definitely lose excitement that you would get if you were actually there live in person seeing them do all the flips and tricks and these dangerous stunts that they do. But yeah, most t stuff on TV I don't even care about anymore, but America's Got a Talent I love. And here's an invisible, here's the thing, Blaze can Blaze kick this. If you guys remember this reference, it's a stupid annoying thing. That's a freaking Kecleon. You stupid thing. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Overheat. Let's be smart about this. Oh no, it's Screech. Ah. Eat this. Rock slide. Tumble down. But yeah, anyway, what I was saying is I've, like, most stuff on TV I don't even give a crap about anymore. And what else good, sh what, uh, like, good shows there are, either I just don't watch them, or I, uh, we don't, I don't get the channels where I live, uh, uh, normally live, or whatever, or where I come every weekend to my grandparents, just don't get anything good. Wish we could get the game show network. I love Family Feud, and maybe a lot more raunchy than what it used to be in the past, but it's still hilarious, and Steve Harvey is a very good host. He's freaking hilarious. Seems like you can't go one episode without Steve Harvey doing something to make someone laugh because of something unusual being said by a family member and one of the competing families or whatever. Unlike Lingo. Link, uh, like being hosted, he's, uh, it's, which is hosted by Bill Ingwell now, I don't get it like how it used to be. And speaking of stuff I don't get compared to how it used to be, I don't, like, Millionaire's, a, who wants to be a millionaire is a lot harder to follow than what it used to be. <laughs> I don't, I still don't know how the heck people my age and people older can freaking watch stupid crap like Big Brother and Jersey Shore. Those shows are so stupid, I don't know why people like them so much. Like, seriously, and please, if any of you are big fans of the shows, please don't take it personally. This is my opinion, and if you like the show, uh, or either of those shows, please don't back me for it or unsubscribe or anything, but, like, I, I personally don't see why people are so into them. I shouldn't have stressed as hard as what I just did, but, I don't, not to mean to offend anybody, but I'm just putting out my, uh, what I think about the shows out there. Speaking of TV shows, I will mention one thing that Darwin's tried to get me to watch. They were trying to get me to watch. He mentioned it to me in a comment. Uh, at some point, maybe in the future of my life, I'll check it out. Which is a show he loves a lot, which is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I don't know too much about it, but he loves that show. He also loves The Amazing Race. I've heard of it, but I haven't watched any, hardly any of the show. Hmm. Well, uh, let's see here. I rock. Do you need most experience? I uh, know you don't, but Whizcash is out of the front. Crap. Okay, let's see here. There we go. Uh. Like, some of the stuff that Nickelodeon does anymore is stupid. Thankfully, SpongeBob is still a thing, even though I don't even watch Nickelodeon any anymore, even though I do get the channel. Thankfully, SpongeBob's still running. It's one of the only, like very few good shows Nickelodeon saw is running for it. The stupid Sanjay and Cred crap is stupid. Like Nickelodeon does so much stupid crap for what they used to anymore. Unlike Nicktoon Network, which does some more awesome things, even though I don't watch them. Examples of such stuff being, uh, let's see here: Digimon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Planet Sheen, I'm not sure if they still do new shows of that on there, but that moved Nicktoons Network.
Wasn't that great? Nothing here but places to make things. Do 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 do. Ah, itchy. But yeah, I'm trying to think of other TV shows to talk about. Something comes to mind right now. One thing I can mention about something on YouTube is I watched uh, uh, Smash's newest video today, and uh, it was a uh, conjoined challenge, which is basically they wear one sweatshirt and try to do things like conjoined twins. It was pretty hilarious. <laughs> it was funny watching them trying to do that skateboard thing and like make the pizza like they did. What other hilarious things I've seen lately? I can't really think of anything this is just specific right now. Hmm. Need to breathe in, breathe out, and relax. Too many dot dot dots. One thing I just not mentioned, one of the that I can talk about is First, I get this hyper potion. But yeah, one thing I just thought of that I could talk about is another screenshot that was shown in Mulvone's video, which is uh, Archie at Mount Pyre apparently taking the orb, or, or, or when he takes. Oh crap! Spoiler alert. Sorry about that. I haven't got to that point yet. Um. Yeah, I will be putting an annotation in. Like, probably about 5 to 10 seconds, maybe before, something like that, or whatever, called Spoiler Alert before that, because we haven't gotten to that point in, this game, in the game yet, but since the already, I already mentioned, now I'll continue on, which is, uh, at that, that place, I won't repeat the name of it or whatever, but, uh, when Archie tries to take the orb, um, uh, the, sh the two people, or the, what was sh another thing that was shown that I find very interesting was what the old woman and old man sprites look like. I really like what they did with the sprites. Looks very cool. I hope all the old, or I mean not sprites. Sorry, I'm so used to seeing sprites in the 2D games, but uh, the 3D models. I'm hoping what they're doing is they're not just going to have all the old man and woman uh, models be the same. I hope they have some of them at least be slightly different. So, that's an example being I hope Mr. Brownie looks different than uh, that old man uh, at that place. Uh, let's see here. An item. It's a full heal. Yay. Um, is my team switched around? Couldn't remember. Do, 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 do. Oh, I meant to run. How nice for you. If I was talking about something and I brain farted and forgot what it was, I, eh, I don't know if I did it or not. I mean, if I forgot anything. What I was talking about prior to Mulvin's video, which showed the screenshots that were that are on Amazon for the pre-order of Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, uh, in the, like the Japanese version. Oh, however, do I hate you, you stupid double teamers! I freaking hate you. Not dealing with this. Thank God I've got faint attack. Go, stupid cheap ass double teaming. Die. No, I won't speed up that much, but I wasn't going to just keep you guys sit, make you guys keep sitting, and myself keep sitting through the annoyingness and trollingness that is double team, and then you have to freaking deal with speed boost, double team, speed boost, screw this noise, making use of the luxury that I have that is speed up, and speeding through annoying bull crap like that. Whoop, glad to check that, I can switch them up a bit. Uh, let's see here, boop to boo, and boot to do. Wait, I don't think I have a pal on. Uh, I do. Again, I couldn't remember. Do 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 do. There's a dude there. I'll be assessing him in a minute, but first, if I can get over here. Something is evil is in the way. That means Kecleon. Go, Doku. 
how much will Surf do in the rain? I probably won't knock it out because, like I said before in the last episode, the special defense is the best stat. And I'm not surprised it didn't survive that. EQ die. Oh, one thing I just realized I didn't mention previously is that there was a point off screen where I used the PowerPoint up on this thing's earthquake and ice beam, and on this thing's rock slide. I can't remember if I used that on this thing's rock slide on screen or not, but I still want to mention it just to say that. They're like, whoa, how the heck did your power uh, points go up? What the heck did you do? I didn't know you raised your power points. How did you do that? This isn't Pokemon Mystery Onion Gate to Affinity. If you pay attention to that hiker's text that's tending to something later on in the game, I won't say what it is. Yeah, 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 it's raining. Don't care. It's a sand shrew. And now it's a mud shrew. Tch! It's a sand shrew. And now it's another mud shrew. I have no idea when this thing tries to learn another move. Not that it really matters all that much, but eh. It's a sand slash. And now it's gonna become a mud slash. We will investigate that later on in the game. I will say nothing further about that right now. Let's see here. Yeah, this goes. Every, it goes well everything except for my rock hog. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on, really? Of course, my propeller up and I didn't pay attention to it. Propel, go. Do, 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 do. Oh, also, I just realized I want to pick these barriers, so I was speeding that up. Let's continue on here. Route 121. Yes, there are. It's a Rolf, that's kind of lame. Remind, reminding me how pathetic Wally is. Oh yeah, that's a member of the, yeah, Rolf's family, of course, but that much is obvious, but since I saw that, we'll mention something now, uh, and that is, uh, it was probably one or two weeks ago, something like that, at the time of me recording this, but Mega Gallade was announced, and uh, spoiler alert, mute this, uh, after I'm done saying this, probably mute it for the following 10 to 15 seconds if you don't want to be spoiled, uh, but here it is, and this is definitely the point you would want to pause, uh, pa not pause the video, but mute the video now, and that is, Wally has, uh, is going to, is confirmed to have Mega Gallade. It's hidden ability is inner focus, which isn't the best ability for it, but there is one good practical use for it, provided you can have one tank something. And that is the ever annoying cheap OU slash Uber, depending on how you want to look at it. Smogon clarifies it as an Uber, yet it can still be used in a, a ranked Wi Fi battle to X and Y. Uh, and of course, I'm talking about Mega Con Cheap Ass Mega Congas Con, double hit hitting twice because of the. Uh, uh, baby becoming on attacking too, uh, with fake out, and also being able to go for the power punch for raising attack twice, going for earthquake, going for a turn, going for, uh, uh let's see here, sucker punch. Mega Kyanistan is just so damn cheap. But yeah, that's, like, provided they can tank a hit, that's one, that's one practical use of it getting in our focus, is it can freaking, uh, it can 
uh, wreck the crap out of Pyrosan. As long as you can take a, take a fake out or two sucker punches, that freaking thing can easily put uh, Mega Kangaskhan right into the ground with one close combat. You stupid cheap ass thing, I'm sick of you. Close combat fists to your face and your baby's face. Your baby's freaking annoying and cheap. It's freaking evil. Iraq. Okay, just want to make sure. Amulet coin from Iraq and give it to Akamentus. There we go. What if I don't want to, huh? Ever think of that? I'm curious to see what the booty sprites look like in battle. More so than 3D models, but eh. Whatever. Thunderbolt. Way to paralyze Aquamentus. Heck, they aren't dead. So, Viper. Um. Hmm. Go, I rock. Confusion. Hmm. Can't really think of too much else. I will give a shout out to someone because I can, and that is, uh. Who are you, the Joker's wife? But anyway, one thing I can mention after this. Okay, we're moving on to my pyre! Even though that was kind of late, a late reaction on my part, but whatever. Yeah, just to let you guys know, there's a little thing down there. That's not necessary, and there's no items where that cut wishes. Just mention that since I won't be showing that what's off beyond that because I don't need to. Uh, let's see here. Switching these things around. Um, I was gonna mention something. I can't. Remember. Nah, I was going to mention something, and I cannot remember what it was. The cursed brain farts. Um. Actually, you know what? Yeah, that's what I'll do. These two will work just fine. These two can be annoying if we don't take out a specific one of their Pokemon. Even though one of them looks a lot more threatening. Spin and Slot King. Slot King looks like a threat, but don't worry about it. That spin is an annoyance. Take that thing out in one turn if you can. Thunderbolt, I hate you, stupid Panda Bear. You're evil, annoying, and trolling. Good, way to go, Akamentus. Anyway, I will now mention why you want to take that thing out. That is, that thing has Teeter Dance. What's annoying about these guys is you may go for slacking because it looks intimidating, and then you'll get Teeter Dance with a stupid annoying Spinda. Both your Pokemon will become confused. So, yeah, ignore the slacking, as scary as it may appear, because of it being so, uh, powerful and physically defensive and it has a lot of HP and go for the Spinda. It's the true troll hiding beneath the power uh, and scariness that can be slocking. Is that what call what's called peer pressure? Don't be someone you're not, if that's what uh, trying to be cool, look cool in front of someone entails. Because you're not staying true to yourself. Uh, who had the amulet coin? I think it was Akamentus, wasn't it? Yes, it was Akamentus. Here, Pitch, have the amulet coin again. Do -do 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 -do. I was going to mention something, I can't remember what it was, but first I will uh, show this. Uh, breaking your power, really. I will show this off. So their Pokemon Safari Zone. I'm I will probably be showing off that off at some point. Not actually catching any Pokemon or anything, but I will show off a, a, a one or two things of interest in there. Exactly when I'm not sure. It might be in between this episode and the next. It might be uh, later on in the future. I'm not exactly sure, but I, I'm before I decide how I'm going to do it or what I, and what I'm going to do with it. I will have to checking to see what that has and if there's anything I can't get right now. 
There shouldn't be, but I still need to check into it just to make sure. Hey, it's a main actor. You have good taste in Pokemon. Dragon Brad. Hey, you go ahead and use Elder Swole, but I don't give a crap. Secret Power. Good, no static hacks. That's good. Let's see here. Um, switching up, switching up, switching up. Do do do. Let's see here. Um, yeah, Amlet coin. I will take this and give it to you again. Whoop! Now let's get this item. A Carbos. I'll check momentarily to see who I want to put that on. I want to make sure there's no hidden items, and there weren't. Uh, let's see here. Um. Hmm. I could give it to Shifri, but I want to give it to Rockhawk. Oh, it can't take it. Well, fine. I'll give it to Meghar. Well, it can't take it then. Well. Fine. Pitch have some speed. And not the bad kind. I mean speed EVs. I'm not talking about that kind of speed. So get your get, get that uh get your mind out of the uh limit. Oh, I wanna put this. Also, first appearance of a Pikachu in the game. And the last. It, it actually, may, that may actually be the only Pikachu you fight in the game. I could be rarely wrong though, so don't uh, hold me to that statement. Also, hidden item, the full heal, yay. It may not look like there's anything up there, but there is. I'll be showing that off in a little bit. Also, that's it for this route. Okay, so switch, switch, do 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 do. Switch. Okay, so swap you with you if I don't screw up. There. And I'm going to coin from Aquamentus onto Rockhawk. And now let's move on to see what there is. Also, do that because I haven't done that in a while. Actually, all ever since I started the episode. Go into this house. Also, we're in a new place, Lily Cove City. But yeah, let's go heal here. Heal my Pokemon, please. Thank you. But yeah, guys, we are at Lily Cove City. I don't know why I did that because it doesn't really matter, but eh, whatever. Guys, this doesn't end this episode up here because there's going to be at least a couple more things I'm going to show off in this episode, but this ends the main part of the episode, but I will officially close this off once I uh, show everything else I want to show off, so uh, I'll be making at least one cut, maybe more, I'll have to find out, so I'll be back in just a second, everybody. Mm. Hey everybody, I'm back. I will be cutting at least one more time for the episode, but I will mention one thing right now as I'm getting things in here. Well, first off, I'll say what's in here. If I could not screw up. That is, there's at least a couple of hidden items. Uh, let's see here. Actually, there may only be one which... Actually, let me check over here again. A nugget. Is that it? I think that's it. I thought there was more, but I guess not. But anyway, back to what I was going to mention is that I can't go into the Safari Zone right now. I need something first. And I can get it right. I won't say what it is right now. I can get it, but there's a reason I don't want to show off what it is yet. So I will not be going to the Safari Zone now. 
uh, eventually I will show it off, but so you guys know at this point, instead of way later on, if you, uh, in case it helps you out in playing the games, is that you go into the Safari Zone, I think all you need is Surf and the Mock Bike, but you go into the Safari Zone and you go deep enough, you can find the TM for Solar Beam in there. I don't need it, so I'm not going out of my way to get the thing I don't want to get to get the TM for Solar Beam. Anyway, that ends this little clip off here. And I will be cutting again back to where you guys saw that cut bush on that route with the trainers where it was raining. So I'll be back in just another second, everybody. Sorry, guys. I'm not back to where I said I was going to be yet because I missed a hidden item. HP up. I'm, uh, uh, most likely, unless I find another hidden item I missed, I will be back to where I said I was going to be in the last little flip. So... Uh, I'll see you guys that you guys again in just another second. Hey guys, I'm back yet again. Back where I said I was going to be in the clip prior to the previous little clip showing off the hidden HP up I got, but yeah. I come I came up here to show us off there's two spear berries. Or not two spear berries, there's three trees where you can get them. It's not that important, but I still want to show it off. Anyway, guys, uh, I don't have anything else I want to show off in this episode. And I checked the time, and it's gone on for long enough. So I'm flying back to, as I'm flying back to Lily Hope City and arrive there. Here, I will now end this episode off here. I hope you guys all enjoy this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Ruby, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Uh, where we explore Lily Coast City and see what is inside within it, and uh, besides that, we will go back west and go south, uh, we'll, uh, and we'll do some more stuff. Will we find out what those Team Magma guards were talking about in that little cutscene? Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. And uh, this isn't necessarily implying that it will be in the next episode, nor is this statement necessarily implying it will be in the next episode. But with all that being said, I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play Pokemon Movie. So, see you later. Bye, everybody.